Happy whatever, boys and girls. My name is Jeffy Scott Mitchell, and I'm here today because I'm happy. I'm here today because I'm happy with life and the way things are going and the basic premise of being on this planet in an existence of experience. But more so, what I want you to see is this. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this boy. <laughs> look at this boy. Yep, yep, yep. I got on the scale. I got on the scale last night. 218 pounds. 218 pounds. I should be down at 195. I should be down at 195. I've been putting it on. I've been eating. Oh my God. I've been eating. And I and 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 if you can see how I'm expressing and almost celebrating my fatness. So you can't really see the fatness from that angle with the dark shirt. So we'll go with this one. That way you know this one you can't really see because my arm is in the way. It look like it's gonna be this one. This is the one you want to see. Look at this. I got all this and all this. Ooh, I went on some weight. I did, I did. But I got out there today. They said 218 last night. 218 pounds last night. I should be down to 195. That means I'd have put on like, well, not really 23 pounds, but probably about 17 or 18 pounds. Because when I woke up, when I, after I did my walk today, even though it was 218 last night, after I did my walk today, it went down to 213. And there'll probably be a few bathroom sessions, extended bathroom sessions, where some of that will fall off rather quickly will be expelled rather quickly and it's like a, it's like it goes it's going like this you know it goes up then it comes down but it's still going up higher it's still going up to where i wanted to go like this and you know new year's resolution seems like i go through this every year seems like i go through this every year i'll tell y'all weight gaining season weight gaining season it comes around from October, from um, Halloween to Valentine's Day. Halloween to Valentine's Day. That's when it that when that and then it gets dark early. Even though I think I've been handling the dark early pretty good, the dark early isn't getting me. The dark early isn't getting me. I I think I found a way around that. I say I have to. Yeah. You know, no more smoking, no more black and miles. You know, none of that. And the black and miles definitely would have an effect on my metabolism. If not the my immediate my immediate metabolism, but all it would just and then the darkness and I'm looking up, oh it's only six thirty. Oh my god. But I think I got a handle on that plus I leave all the lights on in the house. Um I think I got a handle on that. But since I did stop smoking black and miles, my appetite that I need to I need to replace that stimulus. I need to replace that stimuli, and it, it's been from eating. Look up, this camera got too much color on it, don't it? This camera got way too much color on it. I wonder if I can turn the saturation down. Let me see if I can do that. See if I can pause it and, and turn the saturation. Y'all want to pause it? Yeah, let's pause it and see what happens. Oh, that that's the screenshot. Oh, is this pause right here? No, I'm not gonna pause it. I'm just gonna go like that. Y'all just have to see me in deep, rich color. Well, let me see if I can go in here and do some filtering. Let me see if I can go in here and do some filtering. Let me go in here. There. I know I should be talking about something else. And, and, and another thing I want to say, too, you know, while I'm going through this is, um, 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 no, I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm just sure. Yeah. Only one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Another thing I wanted to say about this, you know, you know, with the weight gaining season and then getting it dark early is it's also moisturizing. It's also moisturizing season. And I found, I think, that since I've been moisturizing a lot more heavily, I got Cerave, C E R E space V A. And that's supposed to be like good stuff. I didn't know when I bought it. You know, I was like, you know, I can afford, you know, a little I wanted to get something good. And I kind of went with the, the principle my son uses. If it costs more, it's better. 
So I tried Sorare out and come to find out the people who know about it said, yeah, that's the good stuff. You know, I didn't know nothing about it. I just got it because it looked fancy and looked like I needed, I needed something. I needed something heavy duty. Superderm and all things of the gear and chickens and all that just wasn't getting it. And shea butter. And the thing about it was using shea butter, but I think shea butter was more of a sealant rather than a moisturizer. So I was concerned that it was blocking my feet. But I did still use shea butter on my feet. My feet was getting ashy for whatever reason. But using Sarave and I, I bought a thing of Lubiderm too. And you know, wherever else I'm at, if they got some um moisturizers, because you know it's like females all the way around me. Everywhere I am is females. Mother, sister, brother, daughter, it's, it's always females. So they always got moisturizers. I try them out and see what I like and don't like and and just throw some on. If you're just sitting around, it's you know kind of moisture. And it seems like I haven't been cold because I, I think my skin would get dry, it would crack. I get boils. I don't get boils from the skin crack. I get boils. In, I, I got boils all my life. But I think with the skin being dry and it cracking, it, it kind of made boils, and I got like like a little rash of them right here. And I can feel it. I put on a shirt or something. And if I could actually feel it like sticking me or like something catching on something or like a, like a real sharp kind of, you know, something. And so I said, I need to start moisturizing. So I just super moisture. Just super one hand said to get it. I don't care how much the bar weight costs. $17 a jar. I just gonna get it. I'm just gonna slop it on there. You know, every day during the winter time, I'm going to moisturize. And it seems to have a beneficial effect on me is I'm not as cold as much anymore. Skin feels better and it does feel good. And some, you know, most people I know, well, not most people, well, the women past in my life, they would moisturize. They take a shower at night and moisturize again at night. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it, you know, before I go to bed, lotion before I go to bed. I'm not like, that's too much. But in the morning I do, you know, and I don't even take a shower. <laughs> Come to think about it. And then when I do, but when I do shower, I don't use soap. I use soap today because, you know, it's just whatever. You know, I use soap today and, and only on the stinky parts. Because I read you don't really need soap. You don't really need soap. Um, you know, just, you know, go over with stinky parts with a little bit of soap and, you know, kind of wipe it down. And, but, and I think that also keeps, you know, your natural oils in there. And, I, and while I'm in the shower, Dry off, get my towel dry off while I'm still in the shower. I keep the, I keep the curtains closed because it gets cold, especially in the wintertime. Well, winter here in California, cold in California. And I dry off and then I open the door or the curtains so I can feel air come in and I can feel where I'm still wet at and back that down. Then I just go ahead and moisturize so I'm still standing in the shower. And I got my Sarabe right there. So, and then let's go ahead and Slop it on. And then when I get up the shower, you know, I don't feel that cold breeze or that, you know, that coldness. But yeah, moisturizing. Moisturizing is important. Eating season. Hibernation. It's not so much hibernating. And I am and I am um finding that I am translating that energy that's that that extra energy from not smoking back of miles and having a more clear head, and I'm actually getting stuff done. I'm actually, I'm not like, you know, Kobe Bryant on the ground. But I'm just more and more and more kind of gradually getting more done, getting more done, getting more done, getting more done. You know, focusing, getting this done, getting that done, actually touching that project, touching that, you know, emailing this person, you know, doing, keeping that. And that's not giving me feel That makes me feel good. Because anything I do, anything that I do that I'm not eating, it's okay. Anything that I can do where I'm not eating is a win. Why is that just so doggone? Look at the color on that. Why is the color like that? I want to do something about that color, and I will on the next video because there will be another video. As you can see, I'm not at I'm not at my default location. Um, and why is that video look? I wonder if I can do anything about that video. Why is that? I want to put some um, put the properties on it. Oh, I can configure that video. Let me do something. Maybe I can white balance. Keep the white balance. Whoops, let's put the white. Well, we don't want to touch the white balance. Let's put the white balance back. All right, 
like we wanted the exposure. Where's the exposure? Camera control exposure. It's on auto. All right, let's leave the exposure there. How about, what about the saturation? Can I turn the saturation on? Can you see what I'm doing here? Low light conversation. Let me take that off. I mean, yeah, I don't know what that meant, baby. Just... And we'll see. I got some work to do. I got some work to do. <laughs>